Good afternoon. Welcome back to Reese Being Refined by the Fires. I'm Ree, Renicia Bims Kouye. And today I have a Did You Know based on um, an article. Well, one of the, because I, I read Our Daily Breads every morning when I read um, my Bible. And I have another a devotional that I read every day called um, uh, Something About the Heart. And it gives tips on day by day how you should live, how your heart should be uh, how much your heart matters in your Christian walk. So, but anyway, Our Daily Bread is a great book. I use it almost daily for my uh, Bible reading. And uh, this article I came across and I was like, this is exactly what I'm going through now. It's titled Lies and Truth. Uh, Satan is a liar and the father of lies. John 8 and 44. Anyway, because it made me reflect on my accident because I'm having a real hard time uh, letting it sink in that how can somebody that I felt really bad for what happened and I took out my time. I could have stayed in the truck and not helped at all even though I wasn't responsible for the accident. Your passenger was. I didn't have to help you. And I did. And we talked. And it's hurtful that now I'm finding out that I shouldn't. I, I My biggest regret is that I left the scene of the accident without waiting for the police officers. Because without that documentation... I'm screwed and you're taking advantage of it because you're lying to your insurance company, Allstate. And Allstate is known, they're a big bully. They stick with whatever their passengers, whatever their drivers say, they stick with that story. And because you've lied to them, they're going to carry that lie all the way as far as they can take it. So... Um, uh, but I serve a big God. God sees and knows all and he'll let the truth be known. It'd be easier for you if you go on and, 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 and tell your insurance company now that we don't have to go to arbitration, but I'm ready for a fight. Progressive. We got our boxing gloves on. Ready to fight. Because you're lying and I'm telling the truth. So it's one word. We're not agreeing. And when that happens, companies have to take their uh, client's case to arbitration, which is the next step. But I was trying to get around that and I was going to go and hire an attorney. But I found out that I went and saw an attorney on Monday who actually, I went and actually saw him and sat across the table for, with him in his office. It was in a conference room, me, him and his, and my daughter. And he actually told me that without a police report, without camera footage, without witness statements, without be getting injured, at the time of the accident, but claiming an injury after your company, Allstate, has come back not with the uh, the uh, answer that I want. I can't claim an injury after the fact. That's that injury is all due to me not getting the. Uh, response that I, I I need in my case. So 
we'll go to arbitration. If you're not going to be truthful, we're going to go to arbitration and we're ready. Ready. But like I say, it's it's ridiculous because I helped you. We talked and I found out that the passenger wasn't just the passenger. He was your friend that you were going to a concert with. So y'all were buddies. You don't just go to concerts with anybody you just met. Y'all had to be pretty tight. And I'm thinking he had been drinking. So I thought it was strange that he didn't come back out to help or to find out, you know, what was going on with you. That's why he didn't. I'm thinking that you probably advised him. Y'all was going to a rock concert and probably had been drinking before. And you knew that him possibly being inebriated, if police would have showed up, he would have got ticketed, if not arrested. So you were trying to save him. Not cool. You don't lie for your friends in order to save your friendship. You tell the truth all the time. I've had a problem with, with lying for people, but not about no accident. This is major. This is somebody's life. I need my truck fixed and your insurance company is gone on all state is one of the big dogs. They're going to take this all the way. What whatever you told them, they're gonna stick with that. But we're ready for the fight. It's a shame it had to come down to it, but you know what? I serve a big God. And he's got my back. He saw everything. And the truth will come to the light. So I'm good. My conscience is clear. My truck will be fixed and life will be well because me and my daughter are fine physically. It's just your company, your insurance company, you lying to them, telling them that your passenger had only opened the door like 12 inches. Really? A school ruler? Dude, no. I took that... uh Report that I got from the agent that kept telling me that, emphasizing 12 inches. So I went, I tested the theory myself. I got one of my daughter's school rulers, which is a 12 inch ruler, and we brought it out to the truck. And I had her open her door and we put the ruler in the door in a 12 inch opening to see if she could get out. Guess what? She couldn't. She couldn't, even though she got long legs, she couldn't. So I know your passenger had to have opened his door more than 12 inches. But getting back to the, um, our daily bread article that brought to mind this whole, uh, mess that we're going through. Lies and truth. Satan is a liar and the father of lies. John 8, 44. Adolf Hitler believed big lies were more par powerful than small ones. And tragically, he tested his theory successfully. Early in his political career, career he claimed that he was content to support others' aspirations. When he came to power, he said his party didn't intend to persecute anyone. Later, he used the media to portray himself as a father figure and a moral leader. Well, we know how much of a lie that is. If you know your history, the, the Jews were tortured and abused to death by Mr. Hitler. Adolf. Satan uses lies to gain power in our lives. Whenever possible, he provokes fear, anger, and despair because he's a liar 
and the father of lies. Satan can't tell the truth because as Jesus said, he doesn't have any truth inside of him. Here are a few of the enemy's lies. First, our prayers don't matter. Not true. The Bible says the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. James 5 verse 16. Second, when we're in trouble, there's no way out. Wrong again. Second, when we're in trouble, there's All things are possible with God. Mark 10, 27. And he will provide a way out. 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. And third, God doesn't love us. We're God's creations. That's totally false. Nothing can separate us from God's love through Christ Jesus. Romans 8, 38 and 39. God's truth is more powerful than lies. If we obey Jesus' teaching in his strength, then we will know the truth. Reject what's false and the truth will set us free. John 8, 31 through 32. So, Mr. Lyft, Lyft driver, I don't know if you on duty or not, but um, tell the truth. This ain't no little white lie. This is a big lie. $4,500 damage to my truck lie. Do you have $45,000 now? I know I don't. And thank God for insurance because they've cut us a check for uh, over $3,000. And we're expecting to win the arbitration and get the other $1,000 from Allstate. So I pray that God give us what we need in this time here and now. Arbitration it could take up to a year, as I was told, I believe. But um, with God, all things are possible. And I know I'm, I'm a child of God and I'm telling the truth. And I stayed there at the scene of the accident and helped you. And even though you said, oh, the police aren't going to show up. Obviously, you intended, you knew you had no intention on staying there. As soon as we patched up your vehicle and the police hadn't showed up yet because the officer who came to, to tell us that uh, he had contacted another of uh, the station to send somebody out when they hadn't showed up yet. You just drove on off in your patched up car. And I was stupid. I shouldn't have followed, but I followed right after you because I was ready to get home. I had had a night. I couldn't believe the ignorance of your passenger. You lied. That door was not open 12 inches. You must have been fed by Allstate. Well, how, when you said, and it's like, how how did you know? You were driving. How could you know it was open 12 inches exactly? Did you have a ruler that you gave him and said, hey, dude, measure and see how? No. No. From the front seat, you can't see how wide the door is open to be that specific. And they emphasize, all states agents emphasize 12 inches a little too much. 
Like they were trying to convince me that your door had only been cracked open 12 inches. Well, I proved that wrong myself because I took a picture of my daughter with the door open 12 inches, like you said. And that's not, that's not, that's not truthful. Tell the truth. You don't know how far the, the guy opened the door. And like I said, if he was drunk, even if you had mentioned that you were parked in a bike lane, he just swung the door open. That's how I hit it. Because I was in a lane right next to him. Say he don't know you were parked in a bike lane. He didn't even look back to see if oncoming traffic was coming. That's how I hit him. Well, hit the door. <sighs> I'm going to let this go because like the attorney brought to my attention that me and my daughter are fine. We weren't injured. Just my truck. But my truck means everything to me. I'm responsible for taking my daughter to school, picking her up, taking her places she needs to go. She takes dance from NOBA, the New Orleans Ballet Association. And we were coming from her dance lesson at the Stalling Center in Bywater. I was trying to get her home so I could feed her dinner. She could take her bath and go, go to get her stuff out for the next day and go to bed. And get up the next morning for school and start all over again. But you ruined that by lying and making a mess, a molehill, making a, a molehill out of a mess that didn't have to be that big. So now we're going to have to go to arbitration because progressive, we're not, we're not backing down. It's the, uh, This is big. It may not be big to you. You may not even remember this years from now, but I re remember stuff. And I feel guilty when I lie. And for some, for me to help you like I did, we were talking. That's how I found out the guy was actually your friend and you had tickets to go to that concert with him. Well, after that happened with your door, and I helped you patch it up. You didn't make it to the concert. Bad things are coming to you. Tell the truth. God will forgive you. The truth will set you free. If not, bad things going to continue to happen to you. Yep. Well, thanks guys for listening. Forgive me for my rant, but like I say, I was I meant to record this yesterday, but I was still upset from my appointment. Um Well, no, I didn't have an appointment. My appoint my uh visit with the attorney on Tuesday. So I didn't get it recorded in time, but it'll be uploaded tonight when my husband gets home. So you guys stay blessed and have a good one. Love you.